What's up guys, we are on Autumn Oaks and today we're going to see how long it'll take to mow, rake, and bale an entire field. This is going to take us a long time to do, but we got a nice set of equipment to help us do it. We got the John Deere 7220 here connected to the Vermeer baler. We've also got a nice New Holland rake, a John Deere MoCo mower, and of course Buck's 2014 Ram with a bale trailer. Now guys, the reason we're doing today's video is because I just recently got the SciTech control panel or the farm sim panel for those of you who don't know what that is it is made by logitech and it's a uh you know it's a little panel that has a joystick and some buttons and other stuff so in short i can control my front loader here with the uh with the joystick all right so right here to the right let's just double check is our grass field so i'm just gonna pull right off both over here all right we've got the mower out right back there as you can see i'm gonna just lower it down we're gonna just pull forward here a little bit and with that we are ready to go three two one and start all right we've got the timer going and we are rolling so we'll see how long it takes us to do this field here now i am leaving a bit off of the roadway here because i imagine that some of that is you know maybe more so for the state we could technically probably mow all the way up to the side of it and be fine but uh you know if we need that little bit of grass we'll just come back and cut it afterward we've got the timer rolling and uh we'll see just how long it might take us to get this field done oh by the way if you enjoyed today's video then make sure you like and subscribe if we hit 150,000 subscribers by november 22nd i'll give away 10 copies of farm sim 22 I thought we were going to hit that. Jeez. All right, I'm going to turn right here just because I don't know what's going on beyond the tree grove. So we'll just stay in an area that I can see. Uh, I don't want to, you know, get over there and then realize, oh gosh, this isn't my land. I have to turn back around. All right, y'all update. Here we are at the first pass, the first headland now done right there. And that is three minutes, 42 seconds. So three minutes, 42 seconds per headland. I know our uh, rake will do two two headlands for a single rake so a field this size will probably run four headlands and then we will uh move on to down and back there we go y'all 14 minutes 14 minutes 10 seconds in we've got all of our headlands down now we're going to be working the down and backs we still have a lot of this field left to go but uh 14 minutes and we've made the you know smallest bit of progress that we have to make oh gosh if this video ends up coming out late today i think you guys will uh I think you guys will know why. You know, the uh, the ever so true rule that uh, when you mow hay, it's going to rain. It better not rain on us. I'll tell you that much right now. Although, to be honest, it has been raining the last few days. So if it does rain on us, I wouldn't be surprised. On the bright side, there's a great demand at bales. <laughs> That's good to know, because that's what we're working on. Great demand for bales. All right. Hey, birds, get out of my hay field. That's not for you. Darn birds, man. They always just out here in the hay field. Ah, uh, they're probably just searching for some wild frogs out in the hay field. That's all. Maybe a snake here or there, you know. All right, y'all. Status update. We're half an hour in. And we're still working on the down and backs. But we've gotten a pretty decent-ish chunk, chunk done here. Uh, maybe maybe a fourth of the field so 30 minutes in and i'd say about a fourth of a field done so we're, we're we're getting there we're getting there we still have to rake and bale and move but let's not talk about those quite yet all right guys we are just about done mowing the field here last strip well we have one more strip after this and call it about an hour and 20 about an hour and 21 maybe by the time we're done hour 21 hour 22 by the time we get to the other end we finally got it all mowed and uh, we will move on to the next task, which is windrowing. Now, I was thinking about this and, you know, do we or do we not let this dry out? And I think for just my own sanity, we're just going to get right into work on it. We're not going to sit here and wait for it to dry out. We are just going to rake it up and get to bailing. So for an hour, I mean, shoot, just call it an hour and a half <laughs> into this. And we've, uh, we've just now finished mowing. So... We have a while yet to go, and we'll catch you guys once we get the rake out here. Also, we're almost out of fuel, so we really need to fill up as well. So we're pulling on through, and 
Yep, there we go. So we can get two windrows at a time, run it at 13 mile an hour, and we were mowing at 13 mile an hour, but this thing's double the width. So theoretically, if it took us an hour and 20 minutes to mow this field, it should take us what? It should take us 40 minutes. Is that right? 40 minutes to uh, to rake this field. So a bit under an hour, and uh, we'll see where we get from here. We are definitely putting uh, some time in on these these tractors Ooh, actually whoa all right i'm gonna shift off over here see this is where i actually truly started and i probably should have started down here oh well it'll be fine well it'll all work out all right guys we are two hours and four minutes in so far and we are on the very last stretch here for raking the hay now we can move on to bailing i don't know how long bailing will take but we've gotten it mowed and raked in about two hours, five minutes, let's call it, by the time we get down to the end here. And we have to bale it yet and then move the bales. I have no idea if we're going to be able to get all this done in this episode. We're going to try. I'm going to keep pushing. We'll see what we get. But uh, let's switch over to the baler and get to work on that, I guess. All right, there we go. We're bailing. We can bail at about 12 mile an hour, so just one mile an hour slower than what we could do everything else at. Here we go. See how long it takes us to bail. Now, the sad thing about this baler is we will have to stop and unload and then continue. I don't believe I have the auto stop and unload mod in where it just stops us and loads and then closes it and then we keep going, which uh, really for my own sanity, I should have probably put in. But uh, we'll try to keep an eye on it here and make sure that we get it unloaded every time it needs unloaded. Oh, I do have the mod. Yes. Oh, I don't have to do it myself. I can just let it go. Here we go. All I got to do is steer. Oh, that makes me so happy. Awesome. Awesome. Let's get this. Let's get this all bailed. Holy cow, guys. All right. There we go. That is the last strip right there. Two hours. 50 minutes and we are done bailing holy cow let's see we got 57 in this one i don't know if that's gonna be enough to purge this bale or not uh yeah it doesn't look like it so that'll just be what it is we are done bailing and now we've got to move all of the bales so i guess uh we're practically three hours into this project and we finally moved on to the final stage of moving the bales and i have a feeling that that will be the longest stage so joy oh joy Hon honestly i'm looking at this and i'm like it might be fast and faster if we just uh you know pick them up and drive them home instead of put them on a trailer drive the trailer here take them off the trailer so uh, we might end up just doing that i don't know it's gonna we're, we're gonna try we're gonna see what happens all right we've made it i'm just gonna park this thing kind of right out here in the middle ish i think this ought to do right here and then we'll just deliver the bales to it so that can sit right there and uh, let's go ahead and shut it off and we'll run back over to the tractor and man that truck looks good and we'll get to moving bales all right so here we go now first things first i'm gonna sit up a little bit because i want to see you know where i want this thing to sit height wise i want to see where that hits it see that's going to be too tall so we're going to have to go down to a point where i'm not even able to see it and let's see how that grabs it here pick it up tilt it back and that was all right still a little high on that but we'll make do with it that's the thing is uh just trying to get a hang of of your height and everything like that of where you need to place things but let's see if we can put this on here now this bale trailer might be designed for the smaller bales we'll figure that out so here we go set it right down we're gonna go into this view here just so i can kind of a little bit more see what i'm doing actually hold on let's pick that up i think we'll go ahead and let that hang off a little ways is what we're probably better off doing call it right about there Ooh. all right we'll figure this out so yeah that did hit that did stab this bale way higher than i wanted it to all right there we go i think we got it that time dude pretty much we pretty much got it okay all right guys there we have it we've got a full trailer load and you know what i think we're gonna have to call it there because to be honest i've already failed my goal originally i was thinking to myself maybe we could do this in an hour and here we are it's been over three hours 
and we've uh, just now loaded the first <laughs> the first load of bales so i'm gonna have to call it at that i hope you all enjoyed today's video if you did make sure you give me a thumbs up and subscribe for more I appreciate y'all watching and until next time i'll see y'all later peace can you picture you and me in the darkness kissing touching